What is up? Thank you for coming to my channel, Prison POV. Shout out to the joiners, shout out to the Point of View crew, and shout out to whoever can solve this riddle, this puzzle, because I'm straight puzzled over the fact that I go to clip some gray hairs out of here, one or two sprout up, they're unwelcomed. I go to clip them out of there and I look in the sink, black hair, every single time. Clip a couple grays, black by the time they hit the sink. Be that as it may, I have some awesome news, man. I'm going to tell you guys, and I wonder how it's going to affect the channel. I don't really think, if anything, in a positive way. But first, let me say, I got a list of seven people right here. I'm on my way to the post office box to send you out your goods, your shirts, your magnets, your coffee. And I'm just so glad to finally get it to you. A few of you guys I've had on pause for a little tiny minute, simply because I had some stickers coming on the way, and I want to be able to give you guys those stickers in your package. So I think it'll be worth the wait. And I'm so grateful to you guys, because you guys, and, uh, and also some others, came through with the clutch, are the ones that made the hood stocks trip possible. It was pretty, it was pretty pricey, that trip right there. Going to hood stocks, I enjoyed it. And without you guys kicking in and showing love, it would not even been possible. Even with you guys kicking in and showing love, still paying on today. Like I said, it was pricey. That's why this news is really, really going to be awesome for everybody. Because let me just say this. Like when you go to buy something, I found out, it's a trip. You think it's one price, and then they uh, they throw this stuff on um, tax. Tax. And you're like, what? And then also, they also put this um, fees. Fees. I was like, oh, you're going to throw a fee fee in on it? No fees, tax and fees. You think it's this price and a darn near double with the tax and fees. So you need to digest that, absorb that right away when you go to make any kind of a purchase. I'm coming to find out. So bro, I don't manage my money well. YouTube pays once a month. And, he, and it's like okay pay I guess, but man to make a stretch. That's why it's just so awesome for me to say I got a job. I was building up. I said all that to say this. I got a job. Man, shoo, just in the nick of time. I don't, I've been struggling financially. It's been rough. And listen to what PayPal did to me. I got to tell you real quick. Someone, because it has been rough, point of view crew member, solid individual, someone who I love, good friend, bless me, boom, shot me a hundred bucks through PayPal. I, they won't let me send to my bank. I've done a hundred times before. I'm like, what's going on? I got to put another, they're just making me jump through all these hoops, put me through the rigmarole. Finally, I get a hold of them. They suspend my account, they say. They want to know my tax information. They got it twisted. Somehow they think I'm a business. I'm like, I don't have tax information. I'm just a Joe Blow, man. Normal, everyday dude. Getting that ironed out, and they're, they're keeping it hostage. They said the money came in, can't give it to me, or something on my account. I Here's my question. I mean, it's an obvious question. I'm like, uh, why not just not allow the money to come in? And Duke could have shot through Cash App or something. When he tried to put the money in, it should have been like, no, a problem with this account. Cannot put this money in. There's a problem here. But he puts the money in, and it's like, what? Hey, wait, wait. Shut this account down. So, I'm, I mean, dude, this is straight, straight Lizane, dog. Like, I can't, like, why me type shit. What? Couldn't happen at a worse time. So, ironing all that out. Thank you guys for coming through in the clutch, making hood stocks possible. Got this job. What a blessing, man. What a blessing. I'm also struggling. I'm going to throw it out there now with the weed addiction. I really am. It's an addiction because it costs me too much money. It's almost getting to the point of bondage. I got to have it when I wake up. I got to have it before I go to bed. I like to have it smoke some before I start my video, after the video, before I eat, after I eat. Wake and bake. All that. And it's just costing a lot of money. I'm not being a good steward with my money. I feel like I'm wasting it. Spending way too much. And you're talking to a guy who doesn't even have a, have a car. And I'm like, snarf, snarf, I need a car. But at the same time, I spend like a thousand bucks a month on weed. Doesn't really check out, and I does it. So, the job's really going to help. Because I'll be at work all day. I won't be just sitting around just smoking the weed. Now, I'm not going to be an electrician. I'm not going to be an electrician. I just went to school for nine months. And it's kind of a trip. Hear me out on this one, because here we go. I went to school for nine months to be an electrician. When I went there, I thought when I got out of school, I'd be an electrician. Even I saw a commercial the other day, San Joaquin Valley College, electrician ready nine months. So that's what I was thinking. I asked my teacher when I first went in, hey, when I graduate school, how much years of electrician, how much years of electrician am I going to have? Am I going to be? He's like, nine. I'm going to be an electrician. I'm like, really? Scratch, 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 scratch. Okay, so I don't really, all right. As it turns out, no, to be an electrician, you need like 5,000 hours 
of hands-on work. You need to pass a big old test. It's so hard that a lot of people felt the first time. It's even open book. Like, bring your book, go ahead. Still gonna give you the blues trying to solve all these questions. So it takes a lot to be an electrician, much more than nine months at San Joaquin Valley College. So cool, I can accept that. I still have schooling, so I'm an apprentice. But like an apprentice is right here, so I'm like right here. A little bit better apprentice, but like electrician is up here. So lately, the job placement, career services center side of the school has been notifying me, hey, we want to place you. You want work? We got these jobs. I'm like, yeah, I'll yeah, take a job, sounds cool. Like, all right, where's your resume? Now trip on this, because this is where it gets crazy. Where's your resume, they say. I'm like, I don't have one, which throws them off because part of the school was a resume class, a resume mock interview class. It was one of the very last things you did. Crazy thing about it, though, when you have your iPad and you have all your classes, it'll be like conduit bending, industrial wiring. You don't see the mock interview resume class in with that. It's hidden. It's like a different portion. Had no idea it existed to my friend said, hey, did you take the resume mock interview class? No, I didn't. Never heard of it. So then I pull it up and I'm getting an F in it. What? And nothing's even due yet. Probably because I he's like call, you know, I was absent. Here he's called my name and I'm like not here or whatever. Where's this guy? F. So I contact him, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna F, what's up with that? Oh yeah, my bad. Let's do the mock interview real quick, real half-heartedly thing. So then okay, we gotta do the resume and then, you know, whatever. I'm getting ready to graduate, the school's over in a week. You can't graduate with an F. I have an F because I haven't turned the resume in. The dude isn't calling me back. I got to call the vice principal and say, have this dude call me so we can do the resume. So I'm not going to get stuck with an F. He calls me just real quick. We just go just real, real fast to put something in. My fault? I don't think so. His fault? Nah, I don't know. But all I, what I do know is the school's like, hey, send us a resume. I'm like, well, I don't have one. Well, didn't you do the resume class? I didn't tell him what I told you. Yeah, but the guy did this and that F and blah, blah, blah. I was like, um, I did, but they go, you just threw whatever in. I was like, yeah. So it kind of made me look bad. In my mind, I thought, they're thinking, this dude didn't even take a serious whatever. Anyway, nah, whatever. Pass that. I didn't make a resume. I'd give it to them. It's a good resume. I wanted them to come type, hey, this is a good resume. They didn't do that, so I just, I think it's a good resume. Then they start sending me on jobs. Hey, call this company. I call them up. Hey, the school sent me, calling. This one, they said, hey, we're, call us up. You're going to take a verbal test over the phone. Depending how, how you're doing the test, we'll call back and we'll schedule an interview or whatever. So I call them up, hey, I'm calling about this, whatever. They go, okay, you have any experience? They go, no, just a school. Okay, we're going to call you back in a minute for the test. They call back in a minute, but they don't give me the test. They just say, we're not going to give you the test because we don't need you because you have no experience. Look, only for electricians, not helpers. But the school sent me there. Same thing, they sent me somewhere else. I call them up, hey, what's up? School sent me. You guys hiring? Yeah, electricians only. So now I'm wondering, does the school even, does the school not realize I'm not an electrician? They think I am? Is that why they put the big thing? SJBC, electrician ready, nine months. I, mean, I don't know. I'm a helper apprentice. I'm sure I will get a helper apprentice job. I'm sure the school has gotten tons of people helper apprentice jobs. But I'm just saying, as for me so far, first couple places I call, I don't know why I keep doing that. N not checking out. But I called my boss I used to work for. Jammed him up. Hey, man. He said, yes. He's a framer. He built only million dollar homes. I worked with him for a couple years. Starting a house in a couple weeks. I was so happy and excited. So happy and excited. A, getting a job, but not only that, I don't have to look for a job now. I hate looking for a job. I hate looking for a job, man, because I just feel like, it, mm, people say it's in my head. It's just like, here's what I feel like, look it. Come in. Hi, here for the interview. I put my application yesterday. Um, yes, and they're gonna be like, Whoa, you have a lot of tattoos. Now they're going to be like, talking to me? Oh, me? Oh, sorry. Well, mm. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I didn't think it'd be an issue. And it trips me out when people with a bunch of tattoos like me have good jobs. And they say, bro, my tattoos have never been an issue. No, I get jobs all the time. I'm good for you. I'm happy for you. Man, they have been an issue for me. It, I mean, more than once I've gone in, especially talk to someone on the phone. They go, yeah, come on in. Cause they see your application and you meet them face to face. And they're like, like, what's going on here? Yeah, so I'm just so happy I don't have to look for a job and go through all that. I have a job, a company I used to work for, carpentry, framing, and I'll be an electrician. It'll happen one day. I mean, I'm sure I'll see electricians at the house I'm building. I mean, whatever God has planned for me right now, it'll happen in due season. But for right now, I got a job as a carpenter starting in a couple weeks, and I'm just so happy and excited about it because it's been rough making it off YouTube. My fault, yes, because I, I could be posting more to make more. It, but also that I don't 
I'm not good with money. You get paid once a month. And I mean, I have trouble making a stretch, especially when I spend a lot of it on weed. So I need to work on my money, being a good steward with my money, budgeting and bouncing out. I need to work on this weed intake, work on all the weed I smoke. Work on all the weed I smoke? Yeah, that's not even enough. And I'm not going to be able to smoke at work, so that's going to be a good thing. It's going to be eight hours a day I'm not going to be smoking because I have tried before to smoke a little weed before working. It's a nightmare. It never works out because I like to smoke weed and fall asleep on the couch. So indica, I like to eat candy bars and crash out, not being the sun, pushing a wheelbarrow or hammering. And I need to get in shape. Good thing my boss didn't say start tomorrow. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be working out, burpees on the daily. I'm going to get up, run a couple laps around the block. I'm going to build up my wind because I use a 26-ounce framing hammer. People see my hammer when I'm out in the field and my like, splinter. He's got a big hammer. I'm like, excuse me? I'm talking like, oh, okay, yeah. 26 ounces. And so I go, I pick it up. I went to go use it and it's kind of, man, I'm at the building my strength. But muscle memory, you know what I mean? I got kicked by a horse right there. Got kicked by a horse right there. Uh, the beach is that way. Don't forget your ice chest. Something like that. Uh -huh. So, zzz, zzz, mm. job. Start a couple weeks. Couldn't be more pleased. It's not going to affect the channel. Not at all. I'm not going to start till 7.30. I get up at 5. I could come home from work and I could do notes, get the idea for the video, and wake up in the morning and record it before work. I can even do lives before work. Like, hey, I can't get my boots on, make my coffee, get ready for work. And I had a dream about this. Just chop it up and chat with you guys. Also, you know how I operate. Throughout the day, I'm sitting around my house and I have a notepad like this and a pen like this. And sometimes I wear glasses like this. And I and I'll think of a good idea for video and I'll put it down. And then after I have enough put downs, I look and I go, oh, that's enough for video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little voice recorder and carry it around. And be like, yeah, talk, tell them about that one time, you're out of state and do this and that. Or yeah, tell them about that one dude. There's different ideas that I'll be able to refer back to because things come in my head. The racing thoughts, that's just how it works. I know I'll be at work and something will come in my, my head. And not only that, I'll be hyper-focused on it. When you're building a house, there's a lot of hardware, P38s. That's my job. I'll be going all over the house every hour frame, putting all this hardware up, and I could be daydreaming. I could be thinking, racing thoughts, focused on what I'm going to be doing for the video. Man, it's going to be awesome. It's not going to slow the roll at all. Speaking of which, you know we just established, solidified, and we identified the live every Friday at 8 o'clock. That's when live's going to be. I don't like being real ramshackle. Is that a word? Lackadaisical? Is that even applied in the sentence um, type when it comes to my lives? Pop up here, pop up there. I want to just boom every week at this time. So you know, hey, Friday night, 8 o'clock, it's going to be live with Splinter. And this Friday night, 8 o'clock, I'm going to be in Sacramento. So it's going to be an awesome little bit of a special live, I think. NorCal version up there. Yes, be awesome. So make sure you check in and tap in with that for certain. And if you're up in Sacramento, man, hit me up. IG, trench life underscore 1010. Might be able to just hook up for a second and burn one or just whatever. Just say hi, just be like, what's up, dog? Take a picture. Bam, meet. Why not? Be that as a May. So, a lot of good things in the mix. Tell the job. I'm very happy about it. It's not going to affect the channel. I have the viewer's choice coming up. This is not the viewer's choice, obviously. I have a cotton mouth, man. This ain't the viewer's choice. You guys came through as you always do. Man, I love you guys. Have such good ideas. Uh, just give me so many things to work with. The viewer's choice, you guys really came through. And it looks good in the title, too. The thumbnail, it's a viewer's choice video. But then I start getting examples. You guys' little titles. That way you'll be able to look at me. Oh, he picked mine. Which I'm, you know, you know what I mean? And then, bro, it just looks good. It looks piques a lot of people's interest. Because you guys come up with such good ideas. Man. So, viewer's choice. I'm still going to do that later. But I just want to let you guys know that I got a job. Thank goodness. This is the nick of time because I'm struggling financially. That's why I'm really thankful to these people. They really helped out. And so, I'm going to get their goods to them. Shout out and thank you to everybody who shot donations and stuff. And to be honest, donations are kind of slim pickings these days. They really are. And it makes me feel bad. Not that I'm not getting donations, but it makes me feel bad because I think that's a reflection of everybody's budget finances this time. Because gas is so high. Prices are so high. You go to get food. I used to buy these cookies. They were a dollar at Walmart. These, uh, what are they called? They had them in chocolate, vanilla, and they're the little wafer things. I'd give them the strawberry ones. One buck. Now you go and they're like a dollar eighty-eight. Just 88 cents overnight, just raise on these cookies. What for? I don't get it. And gas, you know what that's like. And it's, everything is so much expensive, man. And I know it's affecting everybody. So I'm just so thankful to get this job, man. It's not going to affect the channel. Much love to everybody. Come through Friday at 8, 8 o'clock. I'm going to do a viewer's choice right now. 
Love you joiners. Please join if you can. I'm doing some joiner content. There is one video up right now for joiners and joiners only behind the scene with Splinter. Also create a playlist. Actually Green Eye Gemini created a playlist. If you go there you'll see all the videos that are like minded. We're going to do another little portion of the playlist that is favorites. My favorite videos and like I know what your guys' favorites are. It's the Asian one where I said you can't defeat me. And it's the snowboarding one. So I know what your guys' favorites are. And I have my own favorites. So I'm going to put those in the playlist. Don't forget to follow Green Eye Gemini Instagram. Because you're going to see all the pictures of the trips we take. We take, a, take a trip one weekend out of the month. A lot of prison POV content, thumbnails, that sort of thing. So Green Eye Gemini on Instagram. Got the job, man. So thankful it's not going to affect the channel. Nothing but no, no, some respect. Be looking for the viewer's choice. Cut stream, let it fly. Peace.